What's up everybody, welcome to part 3 of 3 videos on how to use Marmalade efficiently, how to better your knowledge of Etsy SEO, and of course, get more sales on Etsy. My name is Dave, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, I do new videos all the time on Etsy, e-commerce, and personal success. In the last video, I showed you guys how I make long tail keywords using Marmalade, using the search plus the comparison function, as well as the bubble. In this video, I'm going to go over all the other tools, how they can be useful to you, and how you know to use them, of course. So if you find this video useful, please hit like. Also, comment anything you want to ask me, and I try to answer all the questions on my YouTube channel my best. As well as, if you are considering getting Marmalade, please consider to do so through my affiliate link. It helps support the channel. I get a tiny little commission, and you don't pay a penny extra. Beautiful. So let's get started with today's video. The first function, the, all the other functions that I will show you in this video is the list. You can, you can organize your keywords, your best keywords for a specific niche. Let's say you're a, you're a store that has lots of niches. For example, uh, a t-shirt store that just sells like every type to every niche, dog niche, any niche, you name it niche then you want to create lists to organize your best keywords. So for exa this example, since we've been going with the slime keywords, I'm just going to click here, add to list, create new list, and then we call it slime, create and add. Then we're going to add butter slime. And then as you can see, since we created that list, now here it is waiting for us. Boom, add it to slime. There we go. Then we check it out over here. And there's your list, slime. I deleted my lists because I don't want you to see my lists. I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyway, click on that. And you will see a list of your tags and your phrases. So anytime you're listing something new, you can refer to this list and remind yourself of all the best keywords. So you can say, oh yeah, remember, people love butter slime for whatever reason. So yeah, this is some butter slime I made. Great. So here's butter slime <laughs> on, the, on the keywords, titles, and tags. Excellent. So this is a really great way to organize your lists and your tags, as I said. So if you have different niches or whatever, different products even, if you're selling bracelets, necklaces, earrings, whatever it may be, this way you can track your progress. You can keep an eye on the on the keywords as well because they change and you can refer back to them very easily. This is a really great function of Marmalade. So the next one that I want to go over is Storm. And Storm is like a it's like a bubble, you know, it just shows you a ton of different suggestions. And it's especially useful if you're not familiar with the keyword. So in this video, I'm going to use slime like we have been in this series. And we're going to find some new ones. And it's going to show us new ones that the bubble for the bubble in video one that didn't show us. So let's do it. Let's get started. Slime. And then it's going to give us a ton of different keywords. Some of them will be random. Some of them will be related. And some of them will be similar shopper searches. So some of them will just be the keywords that show up in similar shopper searches when you're using the search function. So you do have to disregard some of them. For example, Baby Yoda, he's not really related to slime. Or Harry Potter, there he is again. He's always creeping in the suggestions because he's so popular. So unless you got some like Gryffindor slime, then then you, I guess Harry Potter would be relevant. Or, or I don't know, maybe you're all about the Hufflepuff. Who knows? Anyway, so butter slime, cheap slime, clear slime, cloud slime, crunchy slime. Forgot about crunchy slime. That one was in a past video. Fishbowl slime. Ew. Do they use fishbowl water? I don't know. Uh, fluffy slime, foam slime. See, and it shows you the rating here as well. So it's really, really useful to just find a bunch of suggestions all at once, super quick. And again, depending on the keyword, the results here are going to be different. And you can narrow it down. See, like gift for her. I don't know. I'm not going to get a gift for her that's going to be slime. So I'm going to click X on that one. Gift for him. Nope. Mom. Nope. Women. Sure. Why not? Gifts for him. Harry Potter. You got to go. Home decor. 
<laughs> if you want to use slime as home decor, that's up to you. But I don't think it's relative, so I'm going to click X on that one. Kobe Bryant, definitely not relative. Shirt, stickers, T-shirt, Valentine's Day, vintage wall art. See, some of them are similar shopper searches that appear in search if you were to search it in the search function. So keep that in mind. Unicorn slime, slime UK, slime shops, etc. Anyway, you get the point. Now you can put these keywords in a bucket over here to kind of, again, organize what you're going for. So I'm going to put all the good ones in a bucket. And then we can just refer back to this list if I were to be crafting. No, don't put free shipping slime in there. If you have free shipping, guys, if you have free shipping, do not put that in the title. Do not put that in the tags because shoppers can filter you out on the left-hand side for free shipping. You're only wasting your space if you're putting free shipping in your title or in your tags. That's a silly, silly, silly mistake. Please don't do that. Thank you. So slime containers, you got slime containers? Throw it over there in the bucket. Let's see what else. Slime shops. Anyway, Baby Yoda, I thought I kicked him out, but he's whatever. Fortnite, you got Fortnite slime? Maybe you do, I don't know. So anyway, now you have this bucket, and you can refer to this list as if, if you were to be crafting a new listing on a different tab. Excellent. So that's the storm function. It's really great. You can just click here to start a new one, but beware, you can't really save your buckets. So just, you know... If you want to save it into a list, then, you know, take it from the storm, go to comparison, search it, then add it to your list. Or you can add it in search up here. Where'd it go? Right here. Baby Yoda. Oh, man, I, you caught me, guys. You guys caught me searching Baby Yoda. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So that's the storm function. It's very useful, as is the list of tags here at the bottom of comparison, as is the bubble down here at the bottom of the search function. Where is it? Sorry, my computer goes slow when Marmalade is giant on my screen. Come on. A lot of baby Yoda clogging the space up. Okay, I'd have to renew the page and I'm not going to do that. This is supposed to be a bubble. So, that was Storm. We covered comparison in the last video. Tracking is very useful. And I'll show you some of the keywords that I've been tracking throughout the years. I've been tracking gemstone necklace because that's what I make. And I've been tracking it since December 8th, 2017. Kind of got on the tracking game late of my, uh, you, my career on Etsy. But hey, whatever. Really started to go hard over here. And it gives you a really good, you know, it gives you the shops competing. It gives you the average and median price. The results are kind of flatlined here. Just always the same. Everybody loves it. <laughs> Healing crystal necklace. Woodland crystal necklace. Other things like that that I'm tracking. So this is very useful as well if you want to track results, if you want to be super analytical. But if you don't want to mess around with tracking, all you really have to do is use search and rely on the past 30 days of the keywords results. That is really what's really important. Okay, the next function that I want to go over is popular. This one is always a hoot because we, <laughs> here we go. Harry Potter is literally always in this list. Harry Potter never dies. He's like, he will never die along with Voldemort. He who not be named, they're never going to die. I swear. Harry Potter is always in here. I wonder if Baby Yoda will stick around for a long time too. He he's got potential in the trending in my in my opinion in the whole scheme of things in terms of trending. Um dice tray. I don't know what that's about. I really don't know what that's about. Cosplay. Maybe because there's like, you know, Comic-Con events coming up in the summertime, who knows. Potteries is is rising up. This month though, we want to check out this month Got Valentine's Day, of course. Lightsaber, of course, because of the whole Baby Yoda thing, Mandalorian show, Disney Plus thing. 
think that's the name of the show, right? I don't know. So tarot deck. I'm not sure who's making their own tarot decks. That would be an Etsy seller. Usually you would have like a publishing company do that, but I don't know if you're allowed to sell tarot decks on Etsy. That's interesting. So let's see what the what the tag is. And you can click those keywords as you see to, to search it here. Wow. Okay. Going hard. Very low competition. If you got oh, maybe used like vintage tarot tarot decks. I don't know what is allowed. How is it allowed? We'll we'll do some research right now. Vintage tarot deck. There you go. It has to be vintage. I knew it. I knew it. Otherwise, it would just be reselling unless you were the exact artist and you were having, you know, a publishing company print your decks for you, etc. Vintage tarot deck stickers. What? I'm confused. Embellishment for scrapbooking gifts. Okay, whatever. That's cool. So anyway, as you guys see, you can click on these. You would know that if you watch the series in succession. So please do that. And also, please hit like right now if you are enjoying this content. Maximum shipping. Who is charging $9,909 for shipping? I really want to know that. Who? One point what? I'm confused. Sometimes you, you got some weird people on Etsy charging some weird stuff. So here's another metric that we covered in the first video, but I wanted to just give you guys an example of where where they're not where people are not covering shipping in a specific niche or a specific keyword. And I was right, the cut the colors do turn red. I was just having bad memory at the moment. So anyway, history is another really powerful tool because it shows you everything you've ever searched. And then you can filter it by high engagement to low engagement or low engagement to high engagement. I'm not going to show you my history because those keywords are near and dear to my heart and my Etsy shop. So I hope you understand me not showing you this function, but it's literally just a list of keywords with the engagement rates and search rates. And then you can click to, to filter it out. It looks just like this down here. It looks just like that, where it long tail, it looks like that, but it's at your actual history. And then the last function that I want to go over in this series, you guys, is my listings. Okay. I do not have my Etsy shop connected to this. I, I in the in the beginning, let me give you my little mini rant on this function. Okay. So everyone is always asking me, how do I get my listings to grade A to grade B. So this function grades your listings from, you know, just like a, a school would, A, B, C, D. And people obsess over getting their listings to A grade. But the reality of it is A grade listings still won't sell unless you have everything else in place. So when you first get Marmalade, please Connect your Etsy account and learn why Etsy is grading you on the specific metrics and how they are grading each listing and learn how to do that and make sure each listing is always being, you know, A grade. Make sure each listing is a B grade. That way, you know how to do it in the future, but do not come back to this and obsess over it over and over and over and over and over because there's much more things that need your time. For example, keyword research, you know, photo quality, et cetera, things that need your time more than obsessing over my listings, the my listings function does. So that's all I have to say about it. It's a very powerful function. I just don't have my Etsy account connected to it right now because I, I don't obsess over it anymore. But when you first start out, please connect your Etsy account and learn those things. Learn why they grade you and move on from there. So you guys, that is it for the Marmalade series. If you are compelled to get Marmalade, please do so through my affiliate link to help support my channel. Drop a like, a comment, please subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.